couple more times. And then just end in that fold again. And then gently lift up, pressing your hands by your hips, open your chest, press your feet flat on the ground and lift your hips up into chair, Kundalini chair, bridge, excuse me, bridge. And then slide your hips back. So keep You'll go onto your heels, so keep that same place for your feet, but you'll go onto your heels, and then you'll press up flat feet, but they stay in the same place, and then come back. Let's do this 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold it in staff. And then just come forward into easy seated. Let's take our hands on our ankles and we're gonna do a spinal flex here. And Kundalini is called camel ride. And you keep your hands on your ankles. Normally in yoga, you'll do on your knees and you can just kind of move as you want in Kundalini. You keep your chin straight. So chest open, shoulders back. Keep that Uddiyana Bandha and Mula Bandha active. And then just however you want to move forward and back slowly, but just try to keep the chin straight. So we're working on that fifth chakra, which is huge in Kundalini because Kundalini is all about truth. That's why so many of the mantras have sat in them. Sat means truth, S-A-T. So we will tune out in Kundalini with Satnam. Truth is my name. Connecting with God's truth bringing in, invoking, I find that truth in me to connect with God as children of God, as blessed beings of the creation. And truth is an aspect of God, of course, love, truth, purity, all these different things that are God. So just keep moving through this one more time and then bring your hands on your knees and find a Sufi or Sufist grind. So kind of taking it slow at first, exploring, you know, hang out. We, we move so fast from zero to a hundred. I'm talking a lot of my classes that, you know, we don't stop and kind of break it down. And sometimes you can discover just with the littlest movement, wow, okay, I need to work on that little muscle that connected right there. And then overall it helps the, the full performance of your practice. Reversing when you're ready. Coming up into stillness and let's work on the neck roll. So Again, here's that throat chakra, neck up and down, straighten, feel that Uddiyana Bhadda, the muscles wrapping around the spine, supporting it, straighten, lift, shoulders down, and then just let your chin come up and down. So fifth chakra is truth. That's the Shiddha. It's the Sanskrit word we'll learn some Sanskrit. Even though Kundalini's language is Gurmukhi, still interchanges with Sanskrit. They're very complementary, almost as old as each other. Sanskrit's just a wee bit older. And then just from side to side. So fifth chakra is truth, it's communication. 
And it's very timely. It's all about the Aquarian age. We're in the Aquarian age. It's all about communication. That's why we're online now, right? Everything's air and computers and cell phones, right? It's interesting how it all works together. So this fifth chakra, truth, communication, receiving, giving of on that level is just huge. You want to do circles or semicircles with your neck, just pay attention. Don't crunch when your neck is back. I like to do half circles on each side. And then let's go ahead and come out of that. When you're ready, we'll move into tabletop. Just finding your tabletop, finding uh, any movement that you need to do organic or freestyle, shoulders over wrists. Whatever you want to do to just wake your body up, wiggle around, C curves, opening the ribs. And then let's just take that left knee behind the right and press back, sitting back, reaching forward with the fingers. Again, if you want to explore, just sliding fingers, spider fingers to one side, maybe around to the other, sinking in, opening the hips up more. Nice big inhale, exhale. And then slide around to the front, back into tabletop. Any wiggling to realign, neutralize. And then right knee comes behind the left, sink in. Opening up hips on the side, reaching out. Couple of breaths here. Sliding hands over to the left, over to the right. Coming back out of that and the tabletop. And then move through some cats and cows. And cows and cats, I usually start with cows. <laughs> the cat cow sounds more catchy. After you've done a few of those, just come back to tabletop. Just acknowledge, see your hands, fingers spread apart. Looking at the fingers, each finger has a planetary connection. So everything, the power, the power is literally at our fingertips, the connection to the universe and the planet. So we're gonna do some kicks here to activate the third eye, but it also moves through all chakras. So these are some kundalini kicks. Bring your knee to your forehead, close. Exhaling, crunching in. Inhale, out, do this 21 times. And really make a loud breath. Inhale, sniff with the nose. Up, crunch, exhale in. 21. Maybe as you kick up, you go suck into in your breath. You mentally hear yourself say, suck. And when you're done, just coming back to the mat, you can always do more or less of anything in any practice. Preparing to do this on the other side. Nice big inhale, exhale. Oh, and then bring that knee and to the forehead. Exhale. Sat, no. Sat, kick out. No. Let's hear the breath. Then lower back into tabletop, any movement. And then go ahead and sink back into child's pose. Reaching forward, melting. Roll your forehead from side to side. Just connecting with a personal mantra. I am truth, I am love, I am compassion, whatever. Create a mantra for today. 
for you or just grab one that you heard or you're familiar with and just commit to that to clear out any negativity any negative thoughts any criticism from your head from your mind from your thoughts and then it'll move through your body bringing peace and health engaging the parasympathetic nervous system roll the forehead massaging the tension tension leaves oh. Next inhale, just come up with core sliding fingers. Let's go and bring the knees together. Lift up, tuck your toes underneath, toe stretch. You know I love this. It keeps me from getting toe cramps at night, that and magnesium. So just sink back in here. This is reflexology. Everything in our body connects to our hands and feet. So get those toes in, all the way across and sink in. You can do this for three nice long breaths. Ah, oh, straighten the spine, lower the shoulders, reconnect with that mantra. I am peace. Satnam, truth is my name. I bring love, I receive love. Two more breaths. Wahe Guru means wow, God, right here and now. Wow, God, Wahe Guru. So these names are strange, different, old, certainly but they're positive and beautiful and can apply to anything, any religion, any spiritual, any, anything. It's just, wow, God, right? Come forward, hands down, tap the feet out. It should feel glorious. And then lift up, we're gonna do a little camel. So yoga pockets, we all know this one. This one's kind of universal here in yoga. So shoulders come around, and then back, engage the core, the thighs, press the hips forward, elbows together and come back. Pressing hips forward and thighs forward, come back. Then releasing the head, but don't crunch the back of the neck. So like a string is pulling your head long, spine long, hips press forward, thighs forward, chest lifts up. The shoulders are rolled in. So just this up with the shoulders in so the elbows can come together. A couple more breaths here. Inhale gently coming up. If you want to go a little lower, maybe you tuck your toes under, reach back to touch your heels. If you do, you probably lost a little of your thigh and hips. So once you have your grip, press those hips and Thighs out, shoulders roll in and back. Chest lifts up, but just make sure the shoulders are rotating in and then lift. Breathe. And lift the chin up, neck extends. Five breaths here. Keep the core, protect the back, feel that navel energized where the umbilical cord was a huge energy connection one more long breath and gently with a lot of core supporting your back come up slowly release the toes if they were up slowly sink down we're going to move into velocity child pose for a nice counter should feel wonderful but do it slow Next inhale comes up with core sliding your hands. Let's go ahead and come back into that seated again. We're going to lower down and do some abdominal work. So as well as that fifth chakra, the breath, the mantras and everything, this core, the solar plexus, courage, fire, digestion, 
it's huge. So Kundalini does, I think it's more intense than boat. It's called stretch pose. So let's just slowly lower down to the floor. So reach up with the hands, really feel the sacrum, all of these muscles here, IT band, lift the feet up, lift the shoulders up, reach up with the hands and just hold this. So we're gonna hold this for a few breaths and then we're gonna do the breath of fire. So as long as you don't have any heart issues or blood pressure issues, breath of fire is super detoxifying. That means that it's an incredible boost for the immune system. We'll suspend the breath after breath of fire. So that's the bigger one to watch for if you have high blood pressure or anything. But otherwise, like I said, super, super detoxifying. Let's begin breath of fire, equal breathing with the nostrils. You can do it slower, fast. Faster is more detoxifying, a little more cardio. Inhale, hold it, squeeze the little bond, suspend the breath. And release down. Oh, stretch. How that feel? Good. <laughs> A little intense, maybe? Yeah, it was. It was good. I know, it is. So, hands behind your thighs. Do a little rock back and forth. When we do more, as we move more into Kundalini, I get the classes going online, we'll do three or four of those, but just starting back with it, you don't want to push it too much because it is very intense. But you guys, you guys can handle it. Um, wide legged seated. So, I can do like that wide here. Taking your hands, clasping the fingers in Venus. We're women, so left thumb over right, and just flex your feet, get that core in, and just come forward and back. Sorry, I thought Jennifer was trying to reach me. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and then come to stillness and let's inhale up, exhale, twist to the right and release down. So you'll see on the screen that it says Jennifer, I'm helping her bring classes on and off. So then when I do my class, I just stay Jennifer. So that if you were confused about that, a few breaths here. Okay. Oh, okay. When you were, okay. Thanks, Miss Eo. <laughs> then bring that right arm inside. Left comes to open and reach, opening the ribs. Again, connecting with that third chakra, that's Manipura, solar plexus. It's the color's yellow, like the sun, it's fiery. So they all have corresponding planets, energy, colors, names. It's round, round is the sound. Reaching, then torso down, and sweep to the center, and just reach forward here. Feel the grounding of your tailbone in. So we got first and second chakra here. So tailbone in, safety, security. Second chakra, hips open. Third, as we sweep to the left, open up ribs, torso down. Few breaths here. Bring that left arm in, reach up with the right, open up those ribs. So we want that digestive system functioning. And then down with the torso, sweep to the center, folding in, and then sliding up with your inhale. Let's clasp Venus lock is the clasp hands, left them over right. And let's just stir this pot now. 
forward and back. Really visualize you're stirring your chi, your life force, that energy here. So just see it getting super intense, super bright, like you're slowly stirring a pot of gold. And then reverse. So visualizing this actually brings the manifestation. Increasing your aura. And then just come to stillness. Open your hands, close your eyes. Take a couple of breaths here. And bring your feet into seated. Arms all the way up, thumbs up. This is ego eradicator. So have the thumbs facing each other. Press your shoulders down. Really feel your chest open, ribs expanded. And the breath of fire here, begin. Straighten your arms. Open the chest. Loud breathing. Let's detoxify. Inhale, hold it, squeeze. Get that kegel, squeeze, move on. And release, hands together. Do this chopping motion. Chop, chop. Inhale, up, exhale. So we're clearing anything that's in our way. We're clearing anything negative or anything that's trying to hold us back, block our vibration, that doesn't lift us up, it's out of the way, it's gone. The past is gone, the present is here, the future is clear. The past is out, the present is in, the future is clear. The past is gone, the present is here, the future is clear. And then just release your hands open. Maybe take the Dhyan Mudra where the thumb touches the first finger. That's bringing the expansion of the universe into your body. That great knowledge, that wisdom. Close your eyes. Open your shoulders. Bring the breath in. Just receive. Gently coming back in. Let's go ahead and place thumbs on the outside of the shoulder, lifting the elbows up straight. We're going to inhale and twist to the left. We're going to exhale and twist to the right. Make sure you've got the spanda engaged and maybe you bring in again that kegel, that move on, move on, Uddiyana Banda. These two here, inhale, exhale right. Gentle, and then you can make it faster and more active. Listen to your body. But really bring in the breath. Really fire it up. Get those toxins out. Create that fire. Then lift, Indian Mudra, 90 degree arms, same breathing. Arms straight up this time. 
So twisting. Little more. And then come up again. Really reach up, thumbs pointing each other. Ego eradicator, one more time to close this. Begin, breath of fire. Inhale, hold it, squeeze, suspend your breath. And release. Again, close your eyes, open your chest, receive. Coming back, let's go ahead and just roll forward any way you want. Coming into downward facing dog. So if you come into tabletop, tuck your toes in, press back. Nice inhale. Exhale, hips up, walk it out. Downward facing dog. Yoga universal. <laughs> just really feel the opening. Enjoy feeling the equal pressure hands and feet on the mat. And then walk your hands back to your feet and just hang here. Picture frame your face. Maybe your thumbs go in your elbow creases. Ooh. Maybe you're swaying from side to side. And then release your hands. Slowly inhale one vertebrae after another, slightly bending your knees. When you get up, just roll your shoulders back. So I'm learning. I've got another mat in my house. So when I stand up, you know, these camera angles, it's a challenge. Okay. Everybody see me standing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So feet a little bit apart. Reach up, clasp the hands and point, shoulders down, pressing down. Really feel the activation, core, glute, thighs. Reaching up, pressing in, grounding into Mother Earth, reaching up to Father Sky. Then come up on your toes and do breath of fire. Five, and then come down. And then I'm going to bring in a mantra. So now bring in the hot mantra, which is about abundance. So hot, hands in the park, hot, hot, up on your heels, hot, and stomp down, hot, hot. Say it with power. You're manifesting success, abundance. up, finding balance, feet apart, and we're going to do toe touches, but continuing with breath and silently doing the hog. So exhale, hog, right toe, Huh. 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 
Two more sets. And when you're done, spread your feet across a little more. Come into goddess. Opening the fingers up. Lowering down, knees apart. Bring it down with control. See if you can get your legs at 90 degrees. Open the chest. While we're in here, fire up the glutes, tuck the hips in. While we're in here, let's bring a little awareness to the mudras. The thumb and first finger, give mudra. That connects with Jupiter. Jupiter expands everything. Second, middle finger, Saturn, brings the discipline to us to be able to accomplish what we need. Whenever you need discipline and focus, you can bring this mantra, this mudra, mudra, into your life. Ring finger, that's the sun bringing that sun, fiery energy into your body, into your life, manifesting what you need, tapping into that power source. Pinky finger is Mercury communication. Mercury is the planet of communication, sending out our vibration, receiving, sending. Come back, open hands, inhale, up in prayer, exhale, goddess. Let's do this 11 times, too. Three, four. Fire up the glutes when you come down. Those glutes are key to protecting your back as well. It's good for balance, too. When you're done with your 11, we'll just meet in Tadasana, coming to the top of your mat. Toes together, however it feels good. Everybody is different. So wherever your tadasa is, tadasana traditionally toes a little together, heels a little apart. But again, our bodies are different. Find where your body needs for your mountain pose. Couple of breaths here, open the chest, lift. Feel the mountain top, the peace, the energy, the connection. There's no smallness about our being. Maybe eyes still closed or open them up. Bring your hands in prayer to your chest. Lift your left foot up. You can come through warrior three. We're gonna move into warrior two feet. So however you wanna do your hands, warrior three, chest, airplane, gently coming back. If your balance is rocking it, then just enjoy that because every day it's different. Eventually you'll windmill your hand, find your warrior two. Getting your position, lining your body, flipping your thumbs up for Kundalini Archer as we manifest our intention. So thumbs up, bring that left hand into chest like you have a big bow and arrow. You're firing your arrow into the universe, bringing in those blessings, catching them, bringing them in, and visualize that manifestation. Open your chest, begin the breath of fire. When we suspend, just feel that bringing in, netting in all of the love, the blessings, the abundance. Begin breath of fire now. Inhale, suspend, squeeze, move on, see the blessings showering upon you. Exhale, take a vinyasa, or just meet me in down dog. In Kundalini, most of the time we go into cobra. Do our vinyasa. I do anyway because I've got a wrist injury from down dog. Inhale, look at your hands and then walk forward. Forward fold, the breath here. Gently coming up, reaching up, and coming back down into Dasana. One nice breath here. Bring your hands in prayer, thumbs and sternum. Lift that right leg up. We're gonna move into warrior two. Again, on the side, whatever you did, however you came into it through warrior three, airplane, in prayer, opening up. When you're ready, meeting me in warrior two and smiling, 
thumbs up, right arm comes in, getting that archer pose, breath of fire, envision, manifesting your intentions, begin now. Inhale, suspend your breath, squeeze mold on. Exhale, vinyasa, median downward facing dog. And then on your next inhale, look at your hands. Exhale, go ahead and come through. Jump through into seated. Bringing your hands and your elbows into your ribs. This is a really good solar plex one, great for digestion. And just give it a nice wake up. Right, so not hard, not too soft. You wanna wake up those ribs, get that digestive system, it's like straighten up here. Wake up. <laughs> yeah, so this gets everything functioning better if your digestion is, digestive system is functioning at the higher level, then your immune system is right there with it. Very important. And let's go ahead and bring some laughter in with this one. I love to bring laughter yoga in here. Super good for lowering blood pressure and just bringing a higher vibration, bringing joy in, has amazing health benefits. So we're already kind of getting our ribs, right? So just finding laughter, it doesn't matter. Faking it, you still get the same benefit. Your body doesn't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> open your hands up and receive. Bring that deep breath in. Feel the health just pouring in through your crown chakra all the way through the first chakra from seven to one. And then coming back from this I'm gonna try a new one I learned about recently that's really good for everything, but it's really nice about working on the third eye and opening up your energy field so that you receive more blessings. So uh, you start out with the fingers together. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Watching your fingers as they close and open, feel the possibilities opening in your life. Also really good for heart and lungs. 
Kundalini is very strong, strongly focused on heart and lungs, and that's one of the big indicators for longevity, quality longevity. Upper body strength, and that's heart and lungs. So the more Kundalini you do, the more, because you'll feel a lot of it in your arms, and of course it goes across your chest, you get really strong upper body. A couple more. And then just release, close your eyes, and let this just settle in. Like the same thing that why we do Shavasana, let it settle in. Some of the Kundalini exercises are so intense, we take those little mini meditation Shavasana breaks after each one, so we really, really super settle it, solidify it, imprint it in. Bring that breath in. And then let's go ahead and um, we'll do the Sadkat Pahar. Again, I don't have the music. You, I think both of you may have experienced this one. It's such a beautiful song I use. Maya Fiennes is uh, one of my Kundalini teachers along with Sierra Hollister. Um, really amazing um, teachers. And uh, But Maya's got a beautiful song that uses the mantra Sat uh, Tar, and that means truth doer. So we're actively bringing truth into our life, into our breath, into our vibration. So we start out in Sat Kar Tar. So truth doing. Sat is truth, and then Kar Tar is, is doing, actively pursuing and em embracing, engaging in truth. Sat Kar Tar. Sat Kar Tar. All right, let's do this for three minutes. Send it out. Sat cut ta. Bring it in. Sat cut ta. Sat cut ta. Sat cut ta. Receive and send. Sat cut ta. Receive truth. Send truth. Sat. Almost. 
Really open up your chest on these last few. So, God, power, make it powerful. This is your destiny, your manifestation. Make it big. Sun, cut, tar. Sun, cut, tar. Sun, cut, tar. Last one. Sun, cut, tar. And release your hands down. Close your eyes. Open your shoulders back, chest out, and breathe. And staying with this peacefulness, gently find yourself winding, unfolding onto the mat for Shavasana. Staying with this vibration, feeling the balance in chakras. If you need to reach up your head, then stretch your arms, opening your ribs, flexing and pointing your toes, and then bringing your arms to your side. Roll your shoulders and shoulder blades back in, lift the chest up, and then settle in. A couple of active deep breaths before you find your natural breathing cycle. <sighs> and now melting into Shavasana. Returning to your mantra, your intention, knowing that all is well, you are safe, you are balanced, you are secure, your creativity, is engaged at the highest level. You are in touch with your truth and communicating clearly. Your heart is open. Your courage is undeniable. Your third eye and perception are keenly active. Your seventh chakra opens and receives from God. Clearly, everything flowing from fingers and toes to top of head. You are balanced. You are free. Your next breath brings your awareness back into your body, into your surroundings. As you feel the tingling in your extremities, fingers and toes embrace small movements. Maybe you reach up again, nice stretch with your hands, arms one way, feet and legs the other. Then bring your knees into your chest, hugging yourself, rocking from side to side, and then roll over to whichever side you choose, fetal position for last nice, cool, long breath. Placing your hands, supporting yourself as you lift yourself up to meet me in easy seated in prayer. So we tune in with the Om Namo, Buddha Dev Namo, the Adi Mantra. We tune out with Satnam, which is the main mantra again for Kundalini Satnam too. That's my name. You can say it one or three times. We'll go ahead and say it three times. That's nice. We're all home, right? We can take an extra minute or two. We're all in quarantine. <laughs> nice big inhale to prepare. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale to begin. So Nam. Now. Nam. Nice big inhale. Exhale, releasing your hands, releasing your breath. Let's just go ahead and scoop it in for a nice closing hands and prayer, reaching up to God to truth. 
dot is truth, hands to forehead, peace, shanti is peace, om shanti, hands to heart center, and universal to yoga is made a light in me, always on with the light in you. That's what the namaste is. Yeah.